binding of ADB to its platelet membrane receptors result in cascade of reactions which lead to activation of GP2P3A fibrinogenic receptors which in turn bind to fibrin strands that connect the platelet together in the clot. Additionally, thromboxane produced by COX-1 enzyme also activates fibrinogenic receptors. Let's now have a look at the three major antiplatelet groups. A blocking of ADP receptors will indirectly inhibit the activation of fibrinogenic receptors. Thus, platelet will not be able to bind to fibrin and the platelet aggregation will be interrupted. Famous example of this group is Clubidogrel. On the other hand, a reversible inhibition of thrombaxine by aspirin will hold fibrinogenic receptor activation. Finally, fibrinogenic receptor inhibitors such as abseximab are monoclonal antibodies that are directly block the receptors and inhibit fibrin binding.